Let's face it, in today's economy, if you don't have the right information and knowledge at the right time, then you can't be competitive. Every day, organizations around the world share, create, store, and use knowledge to create their competitiveness. And those organizations that are most effective at growing, collaborating, and employees generally sharing knowledge effectively and efficiently are those the ones that succeed. Meet John. John is a project manager. He was recently asked by the head of department to run with a project that would improve social learning in branches. John was initially excited about the opportunity to run with the project. He thought, if I succeed at this, I could get that promotion and bonus and even become CEO one day. Yeah, right, John. He then started to wonder, who else is doing a similar project right now? Did somebody else do a similar project like this in the past? What lessons can I learn and mistakes can I avoid from previous projects? To John's surprise, he couldn't find any information about current or previous projects on social learning and branches on the intranet. He also didn't know who to contact in the organization. He asked around and even after following a few leads, he was still not getting anywhere. Most people weren't really interested to help him and he couldn't find the information he needed. John thought to himself, this would be so much easier if I could just search for projects or people on the internet and be able to find information about what was done in the past, so I can be sure I don't repeat mistakes or duplicate effort. It would also be great if I could just find information about employees in my organization, read up on their knowledge and experiences, and be able to easily connect with them if I needed to via chat or email, to learn from them and even enlist them in my project, just like Facebook or LinkedIn. John shared this frustration with his manager. His manager told him that the organization was beginning to encourage collaboration through various initiatives and that currently there are tools already available to enable collaboration, such as BeChat, MySites and Team Sites, and that people were not yet used to share knowledge and were not really comfortable doing it either. John thought he would check those tools out for himself but wondered, what else can I do in my own sphere of influence to encourage collaboration and knowledge sharing? After doing some research, John decided it would be a great idea to start a community of practice in his department. A community of practice, or COP, would encourage people to share knowledge in a safe and sociable environment and would encourage people to get comfortable to share their ideas and knowledge openly in a forum, online, and later offline. When employees in an organization start to readily share information, knowledge and ideas, then the organization benefits as a whole because there's less duplication of effort, lessons learned are captured and learned from, it's easy to find people and learn from them and their experiences, and there is an opportunity to tap into new creative ideas which can be used to make the organization's value proposition more innovative. John realized that by growing a culture of collaboration in his sphere of influence and encouraging and enabling others to do the same, he was already improving social learning. At the end of the day, John helped create tremendous value for the organization by getting fellow employees to collaborate, share knowledge and ideas, and innovate in an effective manner. He was helping the organization save millions each year in avoiding duplication of effort and costs, saving time, and enhancing efficiency on projects, and identifying opportunities for innovation. But his true success was getting others to do so as well. John got his bonus and promotion for doing such a great job on the project, but still didn't get that CEO position. Sorry, John. But at least he knew he added tremendous value to the organization because he got everybody collaborating and sharing knowledge. Now what about you?